Hello again, welcome to part two. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Stairs Studio Gallery. Uh, this dried yesterday and I want to change it. I made some digital doodles and I want to take some of the this color and some of the other colors that were in the rocks, the so-called rocks below. And I think gold is an imperative part of this process. And some black, maybe a little white. And if I get a chance, I'm gonna put trees in also. I think I want some copper, although I don't see much. Let's see what have I got here. There's a nice copper color. I believe that's a Decord Americana. Do I have any green in there? I have some nice deep teal and that would be maybe right here. I don't know how high this is going to go up or if I'm going to need other colors. And I'm going to start with the card that I used to add the Floetrol to without putting any Floetrol on it yet. And then I'm going to go back and use some Floetrol. And hope that it works. I do the same thing over here. Knock my residuals off on the edge. And grab a little flow troll again. Try not to undo anything that came before because I liked everything that was before. And then just use what's on the card to fill in on the edge. Maybe even wipe some of that off. Yep, because it's a dry canvas and I can rescue what I like. So when I was doodling, digitally doodling, I gave myself a little bit of an ocean and I'm not sure how exactly to go about that. But I think if I dip a card in, it doesn't matter what else comes because any of the color that's showing from the sky will still be representational of the sky color reflected in the ocean. So maybe I shouldn't try too hard to fill it. Maybe I should get that blue mark out. Maybe I should clean my hands in between paintings. All right, that's gone now. And so, is, well, you know what? I need a rag. There we go. Back to making my ocean. Just going to pounce that card right in there. I want a little bit of an island. one of my little hairdressing silicone tools. It's on the Amazon link underneath the link tree underneath the video. Just going to use it sort of kind of like a brush. And 
And then I'm going to grab some of the color that I have. Actually, I want some more colors in there. Not a lot, but a little bit. Probably already more than I need. Come out. I just deposited a whole bunch of Floetrol, which will dry nice and clear, but will look very confusing right now. And there's my island, and now to my trees, which I need a little bit of black. And I want to put trees everywhere. I think I'm going to try... palette knife when I first dip it I need to dip off the extra so simple trees good I was planning on putting some over elsewhere too but I forgot about the ocean that might actually help me right now. Not very quick at this, but at least I have some trees. Um, I suppose if I really hated them, I could wipe them off. I want a different tool is what I want. That would not be the best tool for the job, I don't think, right now. But since it's what I've got, I'm going to use it. Just creating some texture by scratching, letting the background show through as best I can anyway. I got one really fat tree up there. And I'd really like to leave a little more background showing through, but it is what it is, and I don't hate it. So trees, 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 and Try some other ways to make trees. Start with some dots and see if I can make this work. I'm having a good time learning how to make trees though. I gotta say, I definitely am. I 
probably really quiet. <laughs> Sorry. You, those of you who are used to me. Oh, that was too much. So cool. We got trees, trees, and more trees. Just keep putting little tiny blobs in because you can add, but it's harder to take away. I could probably have a much deeper reservoir for my for my little palette of there. That's not bad. Cool, now all that's left is to show you, go check my crib note, put my sun in, and I'm going to look at that right now. Yep, it's low on the horizon. And now one more peak, it's right, right above that island basically. A few different colors. And it might look a little cheesy, but I've got flow troll, excuse me, the flow troll in the mix will help level it, and the GAC 800 is in all of my mixes, and that should keep it from cracking. Make sure there's no wet paint on there. Kind of wonder if Probably better tools for this. Hope I don't mess it up too badly. Kind of want some of that pink. Oh no! Come on out. Oh, please come out. Every time I turn around, it plugs up. Oh, that's really bright. I'm trying to learn how to use these tools. Not hating that. Kind of looks like clouds. I want some lighter orange in there too. I kind of wanted it to look a lot like it was hazy sunset. And now I'm just looking around for whatever I can find. Which is a basting brush with all its bristles left. It will help me brush out some of that color. Make it look a little hazier without dragging my trees. Use a finger if necessary. 
That does not look too bad. I'm adjusting. Make sure that's clean. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Studio Gallery reminding you I've got over 1,800 videos. And if you're interested in watching some of them, they are all organized by the hundred. Almost 1,800 of them actually. And by genre and topic. And you can ask me questions. And you can ask me questions about which ones you might be interested in. And I save all the links and I've got them. I could actually put some more of that yellow right into my C and it wouldn't be a problem. My C is not very level, I have to say. Uh, yeah, okay, so after you're gone, I'll fix that. And for right now, it's good enough. I think. So, my timer is about to go off, and I want to say thank you for all the donations that helped keep me painting all this time. If you are somebody who has donated or can donate to help keep the studio rolling and making more videos, look for the PayPal or Patreon icon on the bottom right-hand corner of the channel banner on my YouTube channel. Also look for uh, Amazon, my Amazon link on the link tree. Look for <laughs> my email address below the link tree where you can contact me if you're interested in the lesson in the house at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Or the purchase of an artwork requires the hashtag from the title of the video that you watched. Please like my videos by giving me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you have subscribed, please be welcomed. Please share and watch longer. <laughs> they really help because out of my 91,000 subscribers, hi to everybody, I've got maybe 1% watching at the most, in a few days. So look for fans and uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, which is my Facebook group for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors, which is for people who want to shop. Uh, Pixels.com and Fine Art America products of mine, like 1,400 items there, and made into like 30, 40 other items. Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links are also on the link tree, and I post to Pinterest every day that I paint. Um, maybe twice a day, sometimes. My community board has tomorrow's video, and Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation also does. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is where I have put albums full of the edited, not necessarily dry yet, but the edited artworks from YouTube channel, from my YouTube channel. Um, the end screen has the drawing video. The end screen of every video has an exhibition video, and on that exhibition video I share that month's prize drawing winner's choices. I think I have some edges to fix on that side. And otherwise, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to be fixing my edges for a few minutes, but uh, and my ocean. The ocean will be a little flatter. <laughs> all right. Bye for now. I love you guys. Thanks for putting up my, for me being weird all the time, tripping over my tongue and such. Um, I'll see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. <laughs>